How to hook up a water fed pole. First thing we're gonna do is hook this hose up to our water source. And the other end of the hose is gonna go connect right here. All right, and then we're gonna connect our yellow hose reel. We're gonna connect our hose reel to this one. And put that tip on so the water doesn't start spraying everywhere. And then we connect this to the end right here to keep the water from spraying everywhere and you can direct it into the grass or wherever works for you. And then it's gonna fill up our membrane and then shoot all the dirty water out here. And we're gonna use our TDS meter to read our PPMs. Just fill this up. Put this inside. Cool, looks like we're good. As long as you're below 20 ppm, you should be good to use it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is adjust the height of your pole to the window you're cleaning. It's fairly easy. It's a snap and click device. It makes it super convenient. And once you have your height set, we're gonna to get to work. So the first thing you're going to wanna to do is scrub the frame. I made the mistake of not doing this when I first got my water fed pole system and it left a ton of dirt drip marks on my window. So scrub the frame, rinse it off, and then go through with your light abrasive and scrub that window. I'm using a walnut pad. And then you wanna go through and agitate the dirt. Make sure you hit those corners. You gotta hit every inch of the window. And then you just go ahead and rinse it right off. Now when cleaning windows with the water-fed pole system, you'll notice there is hydrophilic glass and hydrophobic glass. Hydrophobic glass essentially repels water and prevents most dirt and contaminants from sticking to the glass. Now hydrophilic glass means the glass attracts water and makes it spread out like a thin film on the surface. In this video, the left window is hydrophilic and the right window is hydrophobic, and you can see a little bit of a difference. Now when using your water-fed pole system, you'll always want to clean the top windows first, and if there's a window directly below it, you wanna make sure that top window is done dripping, otherwise it can drip dirty water from the building onto the glass and that's pretty much all there is to it i'll just go ahead and wrap up this job and you guys can see i got the same technique going on pretty much the entire time i do skip using the walnut pad on these windows just because they were fairly clean be mindful of getting tangled you can see i'm caught up right here and i was caught up in the bush pretty bad a minute ago too and caught on this corner so just be really mindful when using your water fed pole system all right, and that's how you use the water fed pole system. Fairly easy. Um, it can be a bit intimidating at first. I remember when I first got mine, it um, had me a little overwhelmed. I thought it was more complicated than it was. But you know, like I said, um, just make sure you scrub that frame. The first house I used mine on, I left a ton of drip marks and I couldn't understand why. And I had to go through and do a ton of touch ups on my ladder, which was just defeating the whole purpose of using a water fed system. But just practice it, your confidence will build, you'll get more comfortable with it, and you'll get faster with it, and you're going to fall in love with it. It's the best thing I bought for the company so far. Second best thing is that zero screen cleaner. You know, these, you know, um, uh, zero is having a 15% off sale for spring on windowcleaner.com. So if you can click and purchase through my link, that'd be sick because I get a little bit of a commission off that. And um, hit me up if you guys have any questions.